everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I went to church, and when I was at church, I said, has anyone found any house keys? Sure enough, my keys were found, but they were found out in the parking lot. And I was showing my brother the keys, and he says, well, you know, they can slip out. The rings could interact or could um, connect and slide out but he checked mine and he says I don't know how yours did it because they're awfully tight so I don't know how it did it either but they were my house keys and had the ring that I got years ago from Avon and it had two um, scrunchy or two um, elastic ponytail things on it because I always carried it um, ponytail things on it in case somebody needed a ponytail thing I don't need a ponytail thing but I did find my, my keys. So Sally and George didn't take my keys, but maybe, I don't know how they came off. It came off after church, so maybe an angel. Do you believe in angels? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I, you never know, I don't know. It, there's, it's, a, it's still a mystery how it came off, but I do have the keys back. Okay, today's topic is gonna be about chickens. I get a lot of questions about chickens still. And I thought that I would talk about chickens a little bit. Um, a lot of people say that you want to have chickens. Well, I don't know why some people want to have them, but I know I wanted to have them. And I, I try to think back, why did I want chickens? Well, I think they're fun to have around. I enjoy seeing the baby chicks and I enjoy getting the eggs. The only thing I don't like is when they have hatched their egg out and there's roosters in it. Because what do you do with the extra roosters? You only need one rooster if you really wish to have your eggs fertilized. But you don't need any rooster if you just want eggs. So what did I do? I had three roosters and I think I've got two more in this batch, that last batch of chickens that were, were um, hatched. My brother, thank goodness for my brother, he took the, the three roosters, brought them and introduced them to his, his chickens and they're fine. They're doing really good. So that's where my chickens went. Whether they stay with the hens or not, or if they end up in freezer camp, I don't know because I won't be eating them. And if he does, that's his choice. Now they're his. And you'll have uh Five more possible oh. on the tw on Wednesday. Yeah, Emma is. As people have asked, how's Emma doing? Emma's doing great. She's sitting on her second batch of eggs. Her first batch were all roosters when she hatched them out. She's got five eggs under her, and on the twenty first of this month, I should have some baby chicks. Either the twentieth, twenty first, twenty second, somewhere in there. So um, she should be. She's been sitting on those eggs. Now she wasn't nice to Rhonda when Rhonda had her chicks. But I really think she wanted to, to steal them because it was like the very next day after her little fight, she pretty much decided to go broody. So I think she was trying to get some baby chicks or something. Um, and I wondered, I don't know if anybody out there has tried this. I've, I went to the farm store, the tractor supply store, because that's where I usually, you can buy chicks there. Have any of you ever bought a chick from the farm store and placed it with your broody hen and what has happened? Has the broody hen accepted the baby chick and get off the nest? Or do they um, refuse to take care of the baby chick and still want to sit on the nest? Because right now our farm store does have baby chicks. I, if they would have had them when I went the last time, I would have bought some baby chicks and given it a try and then I would know whether this works or doesn't work. But I have, I wondered how it works. Um, the hardest part about having chickens, the hardest part for me was getting the setup. Once, once you have the chickens, you have to have housing for them. And you want to make sure that it's got a, a safe area, like the fenced, the enclosed run was the, was the thing that we needed to do. We actually, well, I didn't do it, but I say we because... <laughs> just say we. Jim does all the work. I just do all the directing and thinking and saying what I want. 
but um, the fence had to be buried and we wanted to put the fence down at least 12 inches because if something's digging in, they're going to try to dig, oh, maybe six to eight inches down. So if it's 12 inches, maybe you're, you will be, they will be less likely to dig down and it can't be chicken wire. It's got to be that other fencing. What's it Hardware called? Cloth. Hardware cloth. Quarter inch. Hardware cloth. Quarter inch. I'm sure you could hear them. Quarter inch hardware cloth. And it's it's hard, it's it's to keep predators out. The chicken wire is basically just to keep the chickens contained. But it won't keep other animals out because they can break through it, chew through it. And so that was the hardest part, was getting the housing for the chickens. Once you've got that, I felt it wasn't too bad. And the other thing that's hard in my area, but you may not have this, because we have winters and it gets really cold, trying to keep the water from freezing was another another um, challenge. So we put the water on um, a chimney block with a light bulb underneath. I think I had shown that one time in one of my other videos, but I don't know where, so I'll just tell you what we did. We put it with a light bulb underneath the chimney block, and then you, it's a, I think it's a 40 watt bulb and we have a thermostatically controlled plug that goes into the wall outlet and when the temperature would be above 40, 50, 40, 40, 40 it would turn off and if it was below 40 it would turn on and this below way, 30 it would be below 30 I mean, would turn on and this way the water would stay um, loose, not frozen, thawed. I guess is the word, um, and the chickens would have their water because as long as they have water, they're good. They will scratch around in the dirt and look for um, bugs, and and they always have um, food because when chickens eat, they scratch around and they spill a lot. But they do pick up what they spill and they eat that eventually. So you never have to worry about that. Now, chickens will eat more in the winter, and they won't lay eggs a lot of times in the winter and they will eat bugs and other things in the summer so they're eating less of your botan food because they can go out into the grassy areas and find worms and bugs and they eat that along with their chicken food. Um, if you have small areas you might have to move the chickens a lot because otherwise they will um, ruin the grass in that area and there won't be anything there, so you want to keep moving them. If they're free-ranged, be prepared for them to poop on your porch or on your steps, and you don't want them to do that. And they'll hide their eggs. You won't have eggs in the nesting box. You, you, they will be, you'll be on an Easter egg hunt every day if they're free, free, totally free-ranged. Mine are, mine are um, considered free-range, but they're fenced in. They've got a very large area, and I have electric fence. And even the electric fence, the baby birds, because they're tiny, they can squeeze through and, and they act like there's no electricity on the fence. But the big girls, they stay away from the fence. And if some birds are more skittish than others, then they might fly over the fence. And if they fly over the fence to like make a habit of it, you will have to probably clip one wing. You don't clip both because if you clip them both, you're balancing them back out. If you clip one, it kind of makes them off balance and they can't fly as well. Um, I wanted to also to talk about raising chickens in the house versus the mama hen raising her chickens. Now, the first batch of chicks that I got, because they were my first batch, I had to take care of them and they were in the house. And they stayed in the house for, I think it was almost eight weeks they were in the house. Um, they produce a lot of dust. You're going to get a lot of a feather kind of dust. You don't realize that that dust is there until you move the container that they're in. Then you see all this dust around. There's a lot of pooping, so you're going to be cleaning your bedding often because you, otherwise your house will smell. And um, they're going to waste a lot of food because the baby chicks seem to waste more than the adult chicks do, chickens do. Um, but with the mama chick raising them, she will keep them probably off the ground for almost a week 
sometimes only three days, and then she's got them out there eating bugs, and scoot, and um, she's out there, and it's chilly. It's not real warm, and she seems to think they're fine, which they usually are fine. But when the store sells them to you, they tell you you need a heat lamp, and you've got to have it up 90 degrees, and then you gradually bring it up so that the temperature is a little less and a little less and a little less till you get about 65, 70 degrees and then hopefully your chicks can go outside. And with the mama, the temperature could be 60 and she's got them outside and they're only a week old which is not what the store will tell you to do but the mama bird knows best. She takes her chicks out when she thinks they should be out. And if they need warmth, they go on. And if they need warmth, yeah, if they're cold, they'll scooch under the mother's wings or they'll be up in her wings. Um, that's why they want you to have the heat lamp for the baby chicks because they've got to have a spot that they can go. When they're cold, they move underneath the light. When they're warm, they'll move away from the light. And so that was, um, I find it much easier to have the mama hen raise her babies than you have to raise them in the house and take care and a lot of people think that they're going to save money by having chickens. They will actually cost you more in the end, unless you sell your eggs. If you sell your eggs, you might be recouping some of that money. But it's going to cost you to buy your feed, and it's going to cost you to buy your scratch. And you probably could go to the store and buy eggs for a lot cheaper, but the eggs are not as healthy because they are from farm chickens instead of... Um, free range or or rain or grass fed whatever grass fed kind of chickens free range, free range. they're free range they're considered yeah. free range because they are eating the nat natural stuff instead of being in a box never seeing the ground they're the barn, never seeing the they're um field. they're picking on each other these poor hens that are in these places and even the ones that are in great big huge barns that say they're free range these chickens don't know enough to go outside they're just crammed in these big huge barns warehouse type buildings and it's it's really sad they don't have a real true life and when you have chickens some people eat their chickens I don't eat mine um, you can a lot of, uh, some people will raise them till a certain age and then when they start dwindling um, after like two or three years, they, their egg production will go down and they decide that they're not worth keeping and they will have them called and they will eat them or send them to freezer camp. Or they let them live out their life. Now, I let mine live. Mine are going to live out their life. And it's really sad when you when you have a chicken die. You know, a lot of people think, well, it's just a chicken. Well, it is a chicken, but it's a sad feeling inside to lose anything. These chickens actually have have personalities and a lot of them have names. The newer ones I haven't named but I'm gradually getting names on them because their personalities are starting to show through. Like I have Nervous Nilly and it's and it's just every time I see it it's it's Nervous Nilly. So I guess that's its new name. And then there's the the old girls they have the names, and um, the one that n her feathers never get disturbed is Louise. Now, Louise has a very strong name, and um, Louise must have a very strong personality because I've had several roosters, and none of the roosters have liked her, so she must be one of those um, tough ladies that the boys just don't find attractive. I don't know. She's It's different. It's, it's funny. And then I have Blondie. Now, you've always heard about people liking blonde hair. Well, Blondie was one of the boys' favorites. And she was um, the reason she was called Blondie is she had lighter feathers. And her feathers actually looked blondish compared to the other buffs that were a little bit darker. But um, So they all have their names. And right now, Rhonda is walking around with her little baby. She's got four babies. I think two of them are hens, are going to be hens. And I think two of them are roosters. One of them sort of looks like a buff, so I may keep that one. I haven't decided, but the other one is a huge rooster, going to be a huge bird. So I think that one will have to be going to somebody else's house, and not mine. 
Um, I did not check with the Amish. I had that question. I was going to check with the Amish, but my brother saved me from having to go up there and check. He took the roosters instead. Well, I guess that's enough chicken talk for today. And I will, if you have any questions or want to know something that I, because I kind of get off track. And um, if you have something you want to know, then just um, put it in the, in the comments and I will try to answer it or I'll look it up or somebody else will give me the answer to it maybe even in the comments. I don't know. And if anybody knows about putting baby chicks with uh, Mama Broody and how it works, let me know because that's my question. Does it work? Can you do it? And do they accept it? So I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.